everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, Thrasher's Ghetto Fab Garage. You can see here behind me, uh, the body is off the chassis. And in the last video, if you watched that, uh, we uh, took that and moved it to my buddy's house. I got no room in this shop to uh, to put it, so I had to put it somewhere so I can actually work on the chassis. And that's a big step and happy to get that done. So moving forward here, what we're gonna do is, I got the uh, motor right here on the cherry picker ready to go back in. Uh, picked up a SFI certified scatter shield. Uh, got that on uh, Marketplace, got a great deal on that. There's about, there's about 900 bucks new, so I was happy to pick one up for about half price. I got a brand new, I just had to uh, send the guy my uh, factory bill housing. And so we're gonna get everything put together here, set it back in the chassis, and I'm gonna redo my uh, pinion angle. I got a real goofy pinion angle that I uh, didn't uh, didn't do you know, great the first time. So I'm gonna uh, get this set back in there and put the firewall on here and get this all set up and uh, hopefully get this, uh, get this chassis squared away. Right, guys, I just want to show what uh, I had going on here to try to get these uh, drive line angles correct, which I should have done the first uh, before I did this the first time, but I didn't. So, just like in, sometimes it happens, you got to reduce shit. So, ended up uh, kicking this thing about five and a half degrees back, which you can see really, really changes the angle on things, but that's just where it needed to be. Um, I kind of like the look, it kind of gives that crazy kind of 60s fuel altered look with the you know, nose up in the front, and uh, we're just gonna run it like that. So I could drop the front end down a little bit, and you know, be conservative, but I like, with the hood off, I want the motor up high and looking kind of crazy. So that's what we're gonna end up with, and I said, it looks pretty cool. So as you can see here, there is the drive shaft. That'll be five and a half. Uh, that's gonna be straight off the transmission, and then a three inch, you know, down angle in the back, which is drag race angles. You know, there's different you know different theories on this, but uh, I'm gonna set up a drag race. You know, this uh, this car is not a car, you know, a drag car, but it is a car that's gonna hit me the drag ship and probably is you know, easily capable of a nine second pass. So I'm just set up like that, and to get that done, what I did here and what I did right now is I took the brackets off here and I just flipped the flipped them upside down, and you know a little trimming here and there, but. Everything works, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and tack those on in the front, move to the back. Like I said, everything is you know everything's level and centered again. So get those uh, where they need to be, and then we'll go ahead and move to the back here. And as you can see, uh, it's incredibly crazy how far the back of the transmission dropped down. I said this was totally a bad idea on my part just to set the motor transmission in there without setting anything up. It definitely would not have worked. So. The, uh, it looks like I'll take this transmission cross member and drop it down to the bottom of the rails. So I'll figure that out here in a little bit here later in the video. But for right now, I'm going to get uh, set up here and uh, get these brackets, the uh, motor mounts uh, fixed on the front. So I'll keep going with that. And like I said, it should be pretty easy. I'm going to flip them upside up down and uh, move to the uh, cross member.
Just want to get a little close up here so you guys can get a better idea what I'm doing here. Not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Um, as you can see, I'm sure I'm just bracket a little bit, but see how the uh, bolt hole is just a little off there. So I'm going to trim this up and uh, just trim this back till it fits. So I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible on, you know, like I said, doing things twice kind of sucks, but it's sometimes, you know, I don't do this every day. So it's something I mess it up. Sometimes you got to do it twice. That's why I tack everything for a while, make sure it's right. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, get this uh, cleaned up here. I'll show you guys what this looks like. But this is a pretty simple fix here on this, on the motor well side of it. All right, here we're moving along. As you saw the, in the uh, last clip there, I was working on the uh, motor mounts, you know, re repositioning those for the correct dry line angle. So a little close up on those. We'll show what I uh, got done there. And you can see, got the uh, inner tacked in. Like I said, just flipped them over and that worked out really, really well. So that's uh, where it needs to be. And then it uh, moved to the back here, the cross member, which used to be, excuse me, up here. And you can see it dropped down about seven inches of what it ended up being. So just moved it to the uh, to the bottom of the rail there. And if you look at it from the back, it does have a little, you can see it there, but it does angle down, you know, towards the, um, the, the removable part of the cross member. And uh, it seemed to work out really, really well. Uh, really simple and uh, just put it in there. So that uh, drive line is now set, I believe. And I've moved on to, Building some kind of uh, X member here, kind of strengthen everything up. You know, just a uh, precursor here. I am not a uh, chassis guy, so just doing this what uh, I feel is the best. Car is going to get some kind of cage, so that'll help stiffen everything up. Uh, wanted to go with a little bit thicker tubing here, inch and five eighths, but um, you know, I just don't have room for intercoolers and exhaust. Everything's got to run in and around everything, so I'm going to go with the inch and a quarter here just to save some space. But you know, I'm hoping the the cage will tighten everything up where it needs to be. And I've got the camera set up here, and I'm going to work on getting a back drive shaft loop in there. Um, I don't believe I need it um, to race, but I think that uh, to me it just makes sense. You know, you're out screwing around or something, and the uh, drive shaft does come apart for some reason. You got two two hoops in there to protect you, any passengers, whatever in the car. So, gonna get that set up here, and I'll get that on video and keep moving forward here with the uh, chassis work. So we saw that last clip there, got the uh, back part of the uh, drive shaft loop in there. And then I moved on to uh, some supports that are here. I got this one in there. Um, and you can see that because of the drive shaft, you know, because of the uh, offset pinion, it's uh, just a little weird here. It'll drive my OCD crazy, but that's just how it has to be. So I made this in line with the center of the car. 
um, and just kind of offset it on both to uh, make that so it wasn't angled. As you can see, the, the drive shaft, the back drive shaft, which is kind of centered where the drive shaft is going to be, it just kind of makes a funky thing. So, but whatever. So, moving forward, uh, I'm going to do these supports going to the front here. I got the one in there, as you can see, and we'll get set up here, and we'll do this other one on camera. I think I want to run those supports. Uh, continue those on maybe with some inch and a quarter onto the uh, uh the transmission cross member there and uh, support that I mean, it's a lot of a lot of weight hanging there so i'll make sure i got that you know supported really well so then i'll keep moving with that All right, guys, we uh, keep moving on here. And the next uh, piece we are going to do is going to be this one that runs from here up to the front. Uh, pretty, not simple, but uh, what I did do is I one of these cheap uh, protractors here and just measured the angle here, which came up about 75 degrees. Moved that onto my tubing notcher and uh, went ahead and notched this tube at 75 degrees. So. Once that was set, sit that in the car, found our front point here. Uh, I don't have a real scientific way to do the front, uh, but I got it marked here. Going to cut it uh, pretty far from where that mark is and then cut and grind to get that to fit in there. So keep moving forward here, but uh, we should probably have this uh, just about done by the end of the day here. This is coming together really, really quickly. So I want to show what I was doing there. I think it'll also help somebody out. But I used the, um, just a simple plastic protractor. I even mentioned it earlier in the video, I can't remember. But I just uh, measured my angle here. And I wanted to carry that all the way to the front. So that's 75 degrees there. And I just did the same here. Just uh, set this up at, you can see it goes in, uh, starts at zero. So that's 15 degrees. 90 minus 15 is 75. And then I'll go ahead and notch this and uh, here's my tubing notcher here. Notch it out and then I'll get the, the uh, correct angle there. And it's working really well. And I've been nailing them pretty, uh, pretty tight fit. So I'm going to keep rolling uh, doing that. And uh, we've got four more tubes to do tonight. And uh, this is this part that's going to be done. They're just going to be tacked for now. And then to pull everything apart. So just wanted to know that. I'll finish up this video. So just show this, uh, this little clip here. And we'll keep, uh, keep going with this.
guys. Go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, super happy here. The, all the uh, X member is tacked in place. And uh, everything came out really nice. Uh, came together really quickly. Uh, the fit up is great. Uh, wouldn't mind adding a couple more diagonal supports. You know, possibly something, you know, here or something to here. Uh, just to kind of tighten up this, uh, where the transmission is. There's a lot of weight there. Um, but I do want to get the turbos in there. I'm going to have to move the turbo stuff around. When I dropped the uh, motor to correct that uh, pinion angle. It um, didn't kind of change all my turbo stuff. So, going to uh, get all that stuff back here. You know, the next plan is, to, like I said, to finish well and everything. Get it off the chassis or get it off the table. And then uh, once it's on the ground, I can do the turbo stuff with the body off and make sure it's going to fit. So. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up the video here um, with the uh, fixing the pinion angle and uh, getting this X-Member all tacked in. So, Andre and I just want to say uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here at Thrasher's Skittle Fab Garage.